Uh, so hi, we're team OcuHub. I'm Sneha, Brian, and we're the grads in the team. And um, Eugene, Delia, uh, Harry, Aaron, and Lou. Uh, these are the undergrads in our team. Uh, so our our project is all about basically being able to access different applications that have been built out there for I control. There are a lot of applications, but sadly they're not connected to each other. So our idea is to build like an app launcher that can basically be controlled nicely with the eyes for somebody who is uh, you know, handicapped and can just move their eyes. So this is what OcuHub looks like. <coughs> As you can see, it's a radial menu. The buttons are big. Whenever you hover on a button, it basically shows the details of that app. There's a timer that shows up basically to give you some visual feedback that you know once the timer fills up that that app is going to go back and launch the app. So so this is our pagination feature basically. These are all the apps that we can open with our with our application. Good. So he's showing the demo of one of the apps that are being launched, which is Amazon. Once the timer fills up, as you can see, Amazon opened up. Now, if someone was to build an eye control for Amazon, this could have been controlled with the eyes as well. So going back, we can launch any kind of applications. This was a URL. Now we can open up a location or an app feature that is also installed on the surface. So as you can see, it opened up maps. <coughs> Similarly, you can uh, open other Windows apps like the Notepad. So he's opening up Notepad for us right now. Go back. Uh, so if we go back to the first page, you'll notice that um, the apps were initially set alphabetically sorted. But the ones that we just opened, which was Maps, Amazon, and Notepad, have come to the front. So basically, our, our menu keeps rearranging itself so that the user can you know, get to the most frequent or useful apps at, at ease, right? Um, now, we're also going to demo our submenus feature. So go to the next page. Yeah. So, so we have games. So games is a category of apps, and there could be many eye control games. So this is what our submenu looks like. It opens up a next page. There are several different apps that can be opened. And that's our submenu. So go back. Now, one of the context awareness features here is to open frequently used apps. But there are other contexts that would be useful. For example, things like being offline. You would not want to open Netflix or Amazon or Facebook when you're offline. And you would probably want to use things like camera, notepad, or you know, other offline features. So we also have that. Uh, uh, this is just a technical problem that we are facing. So we just need to make a small change. Yeah, enter. So we just set the context to offline. And if you notice, the, there, is a, uh, there is a button here that says offline. And all the apps that would be useful, like camera, music, call for emergency, photos, all of these applications show up in the beginning. That basically means that the uh, menu was resorted based on the context of the user. Other, other context that we detect is being alone. So when you're alone, you want to call other people or you want to you know, enjoy, play games. And when, you're, uh, when you have company, maybe you want to call them, uh, call out to them like another application somebody has, someone has built here for poking a person around in the room. So that's our context aware feature. <coughs> now let's go to the settings page <coughs> and see that we have some other features for you. So this is our settings page. Uh, we can switch the mode to a vertical mode, which is basically useful for people who can move their eyes only up and down. So we have multiple modes so that people can access this also. For example, our, our friend here, Bob, he can only move his eyes up and down. So the radial mode would not be useful for him. But this is the exact same application in the vertical feature, where we can, he can still access all the applications. If you notice the settings page, it also had the option to turn off context awareness or frequently used apps. So you can always have your menu sorted alphabetically if that's what you prefer. And that's the uh, customizability that we want to give our users. Now Brian is going to take over, and he's going to show the eye control of the app. So first, I need to do a quick calibration of it. 
So he's calibrating the app again, and uh, once the eye tracker has been set up, he can control the entire menu with his eyes. So in this part, I will show that you can return back to OcuHub from an application like Amazon by just blinking five times in a row. And then it will reload OcuHub. Currently, it just goes back to this default start page, but eventually we are going to get it so it can go to either the radial or the vertical, depending on what setting you have. So that's OcuHub for you. Uh, it's a great application launcher that can be fully controlled with the eyes and reach any application you want. And that's our team. Thank you.